Hello guys and welcome to another brand new video on the channel. Uh, today you're going to see a one-to-one -one session done uh, with a goalkeeper that you saw a couple of weeks ago, Henry, who's our longest serving goalkeeper at MBGKA. He's been with me about nine and a half years. Uh, so it's a one-to-one -one session working on angled shot stopping. Uh, we're just sort of building into this in the last two or three weeks because it's obviously come back from the pandemic. Um, so goalkeepers haven't trained for quite a long time in particular, uh, dealing with a lot of volume and a lot of hit in the ground. So it is an angled shot stopping session, uh, but we're going to manage the load as we go. There will be a lot of pace on the shots, uh, but we're not looking to make Henry dive around too much just yet, but it will be quite <laughs> it will be quite heavy in terms of taking far shots. So that being said, if you enjoy the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content that we're coming out with. Once again, I hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you on the first drill. This whole warm up will be done in about 10 minutes max. Okay. All right, guys, just a quick uh, carry on from the introduction. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who are continuing to support the channel and all new subscribers. Hello. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being with us uh, on this journey through our channel in providing uh, lots of goalkeeping content. If you are watching and you are new to the channel watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the videos. I really appreciate it. So today you're going to see an angled shot stopping session. Uh, this session is going to be based around a few different components and to start with, as always, we're working through some activation work as you can see and there's four parts to this. So we're just working on some light footwork uh, in the goal. So this little setup you can see here with the disc is inside the goal mouth and we're just working on uh, moving into line, moving into an angle and taking a volley. So working on handling, working on a little shift into line to take the save. So very basic stuff and all of this you see in the goal is going to be picked up pretty much and put into the main drills uh, coming up very shortly. So as with every session that I complete, uh, we're looking to constructively align uh, the drills. So in that case, what we mean by that is that the warm up is going to relate directly into what we do in the main session. So a lot of the movements that Henry's performing and the area in which he's working is going to uh, transfer directly into the main drills, which are coming up. So as we enter this second phase, we're working in the whole goal. So I've taken up a position on the angle. Uh, we're using uh, Maldini, which we call him, or the air body, uh, just to sit in front, just to provide something in your eye line. And then as you can see, the footwork that Henry's performing is one he did in the warm up. So we're still working through a couple of footwork patterns and then we're finding our correct position into line on the angle, working in the full goal. So literally picking the warm up and putting it into the main session now um, as we branch out and start to shoot a little bit quicker and the service will start to become more random. So for part three, we're just picking up some of the similar movements we've done in the warm up and are what going to come later. Uh, so what we're going to see here is a, a forwards movement to the air body and then recovering in uh, diagonally uh, to deal with the ball uh, getting into line and working again how far up the line or how far down the line you go. Um, and as you'll see later on uh, when it gets to part five, uh, the movements we're doing in part three and what you'll see in part four uh, will both combine into double shots. Uh, so it all relates and is uh, aligned with itself uh, as the session progresses. For the next stage of the drills, what we're looking at now um, is trying to get the movements into relation of what we did earlier in the warm up where the goalkeeper is uh, checking around the box. So trying to imitate little game movements which may happen, uh, such as the ball moving around the edge of the box and it going into a certain position, uh, maybe moving the pass for a first time strike. Um, however, you can uh, figure it out uh, to be realistic to you in the goal. 
and then now we're dealing with a moving ball strike so once again in terms of realism uh, one of the main focuses we're looking for uh, for Henry or the goalkeeper who's in goal is uh, getting into line and then f how far down the line they need to come so you can see particularly from this angle how far Henry uh, comes into the goal and how far up he goes so we're looking for the goalkeeper not to take a too far or too high position uh, up from the post uh, because obviously dealing with an angle he's shutting down quite a lot of the goal anyway so the more he shuts down uh, in terms of from this tight angle uh, he'll be giving up space in which he can react uh, but also giving up space over the top um, so it'd be quite important to hold your ground now, as you can see, as we move into part five now, uh, we're going into a double movement and double save. Uh, so the first movement, um, it's a check uh, from opposite movement to the other side. So transferring your weight from one side, as you can see here, into the other and deal with the moving ball strike. And then, which I've shanked completely wide. And then the second save is moving up to uh, at the air body at the top. Uh, so I'll just let this move on to Henry doing it. So first save. And then moving up to the air body, recovering backwards and dealing with a half volley strike, again, random uh, to beat. So Henry's job, again, is getting into line and how far down the line he needs to be uh, in order to make a good save, have time to react and make sure he's protecting the goal as best possible. For this final stage, uh, we're starting in the middle of the goal, as you can see. Um, so I'm hiding behind the air body so Henry can't see me uh, from behind that. Uh, I take a touch quite wide or wider into an angle uh, to bring the strike through uh, for the mannequins or the air body. And then a second ball is in my hands, if you can see. So strike the first ball. And then the second ball, I lay myself off again so I'm even deeper and then take the second strike. So first ball, which is uh, an angle more from the centre, as you can see. And then second ball from a wider angle with the second strike. All right, guys, thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some valuable content you can use in your own sessions or take away and use to take part in and do yourself as goalkeepers. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time.